Today we are looking at contactor. Contactor. We are looking at contactor today. We are looking at contactor, the connection, and how is used. How is used. In our previous video, we talked about what is contactor. I can say it again. Contactor is electrically controlled switch, which is used for switching power circuit, as you can see. Now, if you can see, you see the, the contact here. You see T1, T2, T3, and T4, NO. In our other videos, you they will make to understand that NO is normal open, which is T1, T2, T3, T4, or a normal open, are open. Now, this, this contactor now, we are going to be looking at the connections. Here you see what is written here, 220 volt. This is just the clear description of the coil. This is the coil here of this contactor. What will make the, this contactor to start or stop? We have 220 volts. So the current that can go into here is 220, which is single phase. We have 220 to 240. This is the range of current or voltage that can go to it. So now you, you have uh, uh, 50H, which is the frequency of this contactor. Now we're going to be looking at. So we use this, this coil to start this contactor. And this contactor used to control, you can use it to control your circuit. You can use it to control your motor, any load you want to use on it. And they have, they are in different arms. If you come here, you will see what, what we have here. This is 32A which is this particular tank contactor, the capacity of it is 32 amps, which determine my, that means depending on your load, you will have higher amps of contactor, higher amps, so you, depending on the load you want to use it to, so you now have, to have your choice of your ampere. Now this is how it's being connected. From here, you see we are using this switch now to on, to power this, uh, to power this contactor now. Now, if you look at it here, this is just the input input of it. We are using single phase. We want to use it to power to use this contactor as the switch now to control this our indicator here. Now you can see here. Look at our connection. How it comes here. This is a single phase here. This is the single phase here. Single phase comes here. Now from here now, this is the single phase that is coming. Now we take it to. We take this neutral, this is neutral of it. We take it to switch, from switch. When we on this switch, now we get to one point of it, which is the neutral. Then this is the current part of it, the current part of it. Then we take this current now and put it direct. Now, current now is waiting for this switch to be energized. Well, this current now is waiting, is direct now. It is switch now that will put on this neutral to energize this contactor. Now let's go. This is 120. We we'll have our uh, power here and we we'll have a neutral here. Now we are using a switch to control the, the neutral and see how it works. Now we we'll, we we'll use it to power. Now as we put on this our contactor now, you see now our our uh, indicators has come up because of is bringing out the power and the neutral of it. This is the line one, line two, line three, depending on what you want to use it for. There are some three-phase motor you can use, line one, line two, line three, and this is the output of it, this is the load where you're using it to. When you put one, two, three, it gives you maybe three-phase. One, we are just using single-phase, life and neutral, and what, what can power this indicator is just life and neutral. Now, we are using this switch to control this contactor now. We are putting it off. Now, it's, it has gone off, and we are putting it on again. That we will be able to use, at the end, we will be able to use this contactor now to control this uh, indicator as I load today. Thank you very much.